Hello, welcome to my channel, Lockpictician. Um, I just washed my hair a couple days ago and also shouldn't be having it so knotted up. Um, and I think I'm gonna just do a light root wee twist, maybe some point in this video, maybe, I'm not sure. But um, in this video, we will be talking about um, four or five books that I talked about in the Rex video that you watched before this video. And it has to do with what? Ruby's crew, part of Black a thon which is pretty much just um, YA and middle grade spooky shit. That is what Ruby's crew is. And uh, I'll put a picture up for you to see the map and also to see what Ruby crews look like. So in this location, there will be six prompts like it is for all prompts, but I do want you to know that this video is just to give you 10 books written by black people that um, write in the YA, middle grade, even some children lit if I can find some. That would be wonderful for me to find some children lit. I'll look for that. I'll get those recs from someone else. And then I'll add it in this video. So I'm going to be reading Root Magic, which is a book that I've been waiting to read forever. So I'm going to talk about Root Magic and I just wanted to come on here and just open up the vlog and let you know what we'll be talking about. And I literally have like 10, not even 10 days, like, yeah, I have 10 days to read all of these books and I haven't done that in a while. Tent to read them, edit it, and get it out to you on today, which is July 1st. So let's get right into it. I'll go ahead and charge my battery because it's dying, and I will see you in the next clip. All right, y'all. So I am in the middle of painting um, this is a little piece. Don't want to show the whole piece because it is not done. Um, but uh, I just finished Root Magic, and it was very affirming for me i just want to talk about my emotions first before i get into the characters i just felt like oftentimes as the author says also at the end of the book like people think that african americans or or were bought here via cattle slavery don't have a culture and a lot of times i find that very interesting because the world at large imitates black american culture so to say that there is no black culture is just wild to me in addition to learning about root magic and how it is being um, taught passed on and expressed in Gullah Geechee culture, which is a culture that's always been fascinating to me in the U.S. Um, I would love to know more about it via the people who are Gullah Geechee and people who are willing to share the knowledge that can be shared because I am big on gatekeeping. Don't share shit with me that I ain't supposed to know or that you don't feel comfortable with me knowing. So I definitely um, agree to that. But I just felt like I'm reading a part of like African American history at a part of it while reading this book and it just felt very affirming to me and I know I said that already but I'm like trying to come up with better words to describe like this book is beyond a five star for me for me i feel like it's a mandatory read um i would love to see like what other people's thoughts on reading this book and i'm kind of mad at myself for not getting into this book as soon as i should have but you know life be happening so that's kind of where i'm at there um and the story of just the two twins and them learning about their Gullah Geechee heritage and root magic and what you do and these certain bags you have to protect yourself and you know how do you protect yourself and about hates and you know all different kind of spirits that may want to cause you harm and not cause you harm was very interesting to me the twins relationship with their father the twins relationship with their grandmother and how you know grandmother showed up for them in ways that really matter to them and it's also a story about like connection um generational misunderstandings when it comes to like why wasn't mom teaching root magic what happened between grandma and mom that you know the whole family wasn't wasn't um teaching the twins root magic why did uncle you know it's just with so many things in the book that you had questions that were answered 
but just questions throughout reading the book. So this was a very good read for me. I think this would be a fan fantastic read for black Halloween, and i'm gonna figure out the next book i'm going to read and i'm probably going to come on with like hey i'm reading this book and just go ahead and start talking about it but i'll just continue painting listening and just trying to um understand just more about gullah Geechee culture i'm probably going to go on a deep dive on the internet and see what's available i know i've been having the queen um, on my Instagram, not my Instagram, my YouTube for some years now and hearing her talk with such conviction and passion and joy has been really cool to experience. So sorry I came on here a little crusty, but um, when I paint, I like to paint loose, even though this is like a nightgown that I really like. I don't know why I'm painting in it, but um, that's what's gonna have to be the mood. So I will see y'all later. on my phone which is something I don't normally do um, but I'm filming on my phone because I do want to tell you about the book The Witchery so I am currently um, watching my nephew for a couple days and just the way I explained the book to him which I was like man I wish I was recording this I explained the way the book to him and he was like so why is it a C minus so he don't understand not understand he don't know like our bookish rating of one to five. He's like A, B, C, D, D minus, C plus, C minus, that's his mind. So I was like, okay, if we translate a two, that would be like a, a C minus maybe. And then I was talking to him about the book and then I realized it's more like a C plus, which could be a three. Yeah, it could be a three. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's definitely a three. And I feel that way because there was just this plot twist that happened that I kind of saw happening, but the way it happened was good, if that makes sense. And it really tied together the whole thing. It also makes you think about like, when you're in sisterhood with people, you put the sisterhood first. When you're in sisterhood with people, you put the sisterhood first because somebody raggedy son might want to get in between the sisterhood and then everything goes to trash. So that's pretty much what the witchery is about. And um, the magic was good. The necromancer part was good. Her, the main character, who I think is one of the main characters, Logan, her finding her magic, finding her voice, was done in a good way. Um, I do think I really enjoyed the last 25% of the book more than the first 75% of the book. It's slow, it's a slow pace. And like I've said in videos before, slow paces don't bother me. There's just sometimes how slow paced books are being executed don't always jive with me. So this is 
a three for me. I had to go through a couple emotions to get here, but it is a three for me and I'll be on to the next book and I will see you in the next clip. I don't know if you can see me, but um, listen, I just want to just go back to the book, The Richery, because in my mind, I thought I was about to get some Zachary Binks situation with Logan and Theodore Bloom. And, you know, if you know, you know, Hocus Pocus is what we're talking about right now. And I'm a little sad that that didn't happen or did it plot twist on y'all but yeah on to the next next um book i just had to say that i don't know which one i'm gonna read next maybe hide and seeker is that the next book let, let me yeah i might read that one next for sure hello so my car is on and i don't know why i got this on because i'm parked but um and this is like my first thing but I am just waiting in between going to um, see people and I wanted to pop in and talk about Hide and Seeker and then also tell you about the other book that I started reading after I finished Hide and Seeker. So Hide and Seeker is a story about this group of friends who decided to play Hide and Seek. And while they were playing hide and seek, they end up just not playing hide and seek how you're supposed to, and they mess up the rules. But while they're doing this, they're doing it outside of the house of their close friend Zeke, I think his name was. And Zeke had been missing for over a year and returned back to his home or his family. And his mom thought would it be a good idea to invite all of his childhood friends over and maybe they would, you know, get him hyped up or, or make him not think about the things that happened to him and the year that he was gone. In addition to one of his friends who lost his mom recently and like battling with that. So I feel like I was mainly in the perspective of that friend who lost his mom. This book to me was a five star. I have no complaints about this book at all. I know I'm like not as lively and have all the energy. I am quite tired. But this book was just done really well. I think the writing was fantastic. This is a book that I wish that I would have read again when it came out. And the author has such a way of making the atmosphere super intense. And to say that it's a, I think it's a middle grade book, that you are equally terrified. And I love it when um, authors take something as mundane as the game of hide and seek and then tilt it on its edge and or when they do cultural things and and switch it to make it more um scary or just spooky i guess i would say um and not a lot of authors can do that well but i think this author did a really good job with hide and seeker i think also um there was just things in the story that i just felt really added to the story and one of the things i wanted to mention is so i hope i'm not spoiling it but they're playing the game right hide and seek and they're not playing it correctly and then they start hearing things of like since you're not playing it correctly we're gonna come after you kind of thing and they go into this other dimension and trying to fight their way out and also defend the person who put them in this situation and if I tell you who it is that will be a spoiler so while they're there they're noticing that a lot of the children there know how much time has went by which I think is really interesting because a lot of times when I'm reading books like this they have no concept of time time is an illusion but somehow these kids knew how long they've been in this uh, like other dimension and then a lot of them you know have a number stamped to their skin and just that detail alone really heightened 
everything else in the book because you're like oh okay this is what this means and this is how it's going to be manifested so all I'm saying is this was a very good book to read and I find myself really having a good time reading black middle grade horror or mystery because not saying that the other videos that I did in this 14 book um, project or that's in the playlist that this video is in um, not saying that the other books wasn't good but for some reason I'm having a much more enjoyable reading time with middle grade and white horror also um, if you see all this stuff in the book it's in the back it's because I'm packing and I have boxes that I want to bring into my house to put my books in so that's what you see in addition I just really enjoy the book and I think that you should read it so then I started reading the vanquishers by Kaylin Barron who is an author who is a semi buy auto buy for me and the vanquishers follows the story of this friend group again where they are at school and you know being kids but a couple of them have to be very strict in how they interact with the outside world because at there was some point in history when their parents were young that vampires were rampant and was killing everyone and they had to really live through a very hard period with the vampires until these people called the vanquishers came and killed all the vampires per se so I am almost done with this book and just how serious one of the main characters is, I think her name is Bug. How serious Bug is about making sure that she finds her friend and making sure her friend is well and helping her friend is very admirable but also not smart at the same time but i'm also like if we think about you know the the age of this character it makes sense that you know she's just making decisions out of the love of her friend versus thinking about like logically or the danger of what can happen to you and when you're younger you're not really thinking about like i could die you're just like live 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 um versus when you become you know around my age in your 30s and then your mortality starts to sit in a little bit so for her age it's right on the marker but um, I do think it's interesting seeing her make these choices and these decisions outside of her parents knowing what her parents has taught her and her actively ignoring her gut is very interesting too and forcing our other friends to come along with her to kind of figure out what happened to their friend so if anything else like a thought or something come up i'll pop back in but i probably will pop in and give you my in thoughts on the vanquishers and i'll just continue to um live this life but the vanquishers is good so far it's it's is gearing up to be another um five star read i've had so many five star reads in this vlog already i don't know y'all i am really appreciating this because it's just like they're written so well only one i would say lost the plot a little bit for me was the richery but everything else is just i'm really feeling what's happening here and um i might end up reading like two other books in this vlog depending on when i will get done with the book the vanishers and then i might add on a couple more books as well that are also written by black authors but right now this is what i have so far so the vanisher what i'm reading right now is the last book that i you know put that i will be reading for this vlog so i will see y'all later um and i'll catch y'all in the next clip
so we just did some minor shopping and then uh i'm so sorry for the light but i'm gonna be on the road and i'm going home now so i'll see you in the next clip still listening to the vanquishers probably my favorite or the best reading I've done in a while in this vlog um it has really touched me so much that all I want to do is read middle grade written by black people that's all I want to do even for July Noir that's what I'm reading is middle grade I have a lot of middle grade that I plan on reading so this was just a really good I mean other than the witchery really i had a fantastic time reading all of these books um i do want to just say like thank you guys for going ahead and like telling me what you're reading for july noir messaging me however you're contacting me we do have a discord the discord is in the link below um also i just wanted to let you know that i have a podcast with my bestie winnie definitely go ahead and check out the podcast it's in the description box below as well um but this video just like editing it and i'm coming in to like end it because i realized i realized i didn't end it but like coming in to to end the vlog i'm like dang man that was so many good books that i read um i had just a fantastic time so yeah i'm going to continue um editing and just trying to give y'all content trying to be a consistent creator out there and i will see y'all on the internet in my next installment in the 14 video project that i am doing for black queen so i will see you next month when we talk about another location bye